Hi. Today I have a very, very, very cool look for you guys. Is this uh, Rosengren's uh, made in Sweden uh, safe or safe deposit box lock? Box lock. Uh, it's a 32C81P. Hopefully you can read this. It's a disc lock with this uh, very interesting key. Uh, pretty old one and this is the older version of the lock there is a newer one and I will explain a bit later and uh, yeah the key is very very nice and fantastic and you can see here one two three four five six seven eight uh, cuts and the cuts from this side and this side they are mirrored so yeah uh, uh, and I made a uh, uh, cutaway lock so you can see here the all the discs and you can see how it works so let me put the key in and you put the key in and then you wrote it and the the once the disc there are, that disc it's not a disc it's a spacer the discs are here so you can see uh give me a second to get something to show you here you can see false gates in between and through gate, uh, through gate, through gate, somewhere here, through gate. So in in between the uh, the the spacers, there are the disc, and you can see when I try to turn the key, uh, there is the the bar for the locking and unlocking, and uh, everything rotates. Uh, here it's on the bottom side and on the, that side there is like a something 1094 and 0008715 something and on the key I was able to see 590194 so we have that 194 yeah it's a pretty interesting one even it's a cutaway lock uh, uh, I will pick this one uh, without at least I will try to pick this one without uh, looking so this is the elect electrical tape and it's impossible for me to see uh, and I think at least I was unable to find any videos uh, anyone picking this one uh, on camera so I will try to rearrange things a bit and try to put it in the vise uh, and I will use uh, I will show you what I'm going to use for picking this part it's like a, a bent wire nothing special uh, a bit flattened on on the both sides because I need to put it inside and move the discs uh, and a uh, normal tangent tool uh, to be honest I have have the newer version and it's very similar but the difference the key is similar the key is the same and the bidding is the same but difference is on the discs uh, discs are with a lot more false gates and I think I was lucky for this one to to even pick it because I was trying I know that I have the new one and I got the old one but when I try to pick it and that's why I, I made it a cutaway lock so I can try to to pick or try to figure it out if it's even possible to pick this one and I was I got lucky for this one because the other one I think it's impossible to pick at least I don't know how to pick it now uh, because when you try to turn the discs clockwise it's easy to turn I mean you can do that but going counterclockwise it's impossible so you cannot even go you need to reset the lock so if you go more than you should that's why I'm not going to rotate and it's even impossible to rotate in my opinion the the disc uh, clockwise and then try to pick it counterclockwise it's impossible this is the this is uh, yeah and I will try to pick it and I, I think I was I got lucky because there is no way 
for me to go and reset the lo I mean not go reset but go back and try to uh, uh, move uh, the disk back like I'm doing it from any other disk these detainer locks so yeah let's start uh, the disk uh, this one wants to be picked from uh, from the last one from the disk number eight and going seven six five four till the first one so I'm this black uh, this grub screw it's the it's how I know where my uh, my pick is pointing I mean the it's not a yeah it's, it's a pick so I'm on the last one hopefully and you can hear the big click so I'm going to the next one seventh uh, and they're very small or tiny uh, discs click on seven so sometimes positioning the pick it's a bit tricky six click on six five come on click or five I can feel that it's tensioning if I'm going to, for an example from five to third not to fourth I can feel the it's not binding so now I'm on I think three here yeah, I'm on three. Let's go two, two, two. Come on, come on. Two, click. And if I did everything right previously, I'm on now uh, on disk one, and it's open. Uh, fantastic. It's when I first picked this one. Uh, even looking through the through that opening it's 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 a fantastic feeling it's but as i said it's very very tricky to pick the new new version uh, and to be honest i'm very glad that i can show you this and i can show you the bar and and you can see how everything works uh, and now i'll try to disassemble it so let me readjust a bit and I'm really happy that I'm even able to pick this one uh, and as I mentioned it's very very uh, tricky to pick the newer version because uh, that one it's a it's a I'll, I will disassemble it maybe for you the new one and show you one of the uh, trying to find where can I start to disassemble it uh, I will show you one of the oops uh, disks so there is the one Come on. so there is this part of the disk and this is the one uh, this part is uh, uh, connected with this bar so when the the key turns this turns and that's why it's able to this is rotating and it's then you're able to open the lock uh, so let me remove the bar yeah, standard normal like any other these detainer locks so I'll try my best uh, this is the the play that it's uh, uh, this part of the key it's uh, it's rotating uh, let me show you maybe bit how this works maybe it's like oops, I need to so so this is how it work and if I remove the last plate and then the tension plate or disc if I remove that one so you can see here all the cuts and let me put back the so you can see what is happening inside uh, this is that uh, come on go back uh, this is the spacer that is the spacer so you can hopefully you can see come on if there is nothing here this part it's a bit tricky so you can see here how everything moves and disc moving and 
it's open so I mean it's it's rotating everything it's not open so maybe I'm stuck now come on So let me remove all the disks. So this is the spacer, one of the spacers, and this is the no, this is uh, I think it's one of the spacer, but it's not the the regular spacer. So I can put the spacers here. This is the key. I'm trying to readjust everything so you can see better. And here's the last last disk. 8 spacer 7 spacer a 6 spacer uh, 4 spacer no it that was 5 come on 4 this is 4 Spacer three spacer. Oops, but this is this two. This is again the spacer. All the spacers are the same, and one, and that this again like a. It's a, not a spacer. It's like a. It's allowing to rotate only to here so it's not so it's a this that yeah I don't know how to call it and then you can see the last tangent disk and here's how the middle part look uh, with the two rods rotating everything uh, and here's the body inside Nothing was done except I it's a cutaway block so yeah and let me show you one of the disc with I, you can see that like a lot of them did not have this did not have a false gate so I have one or two or three with a false gate so here you can see the false gate and the the easiest part for me was because uh, I was not engaging any of the false gates and that was the lucky part on my side but if I was able to open so maybe it was I was very lucky probably I, I am very lucky to to get this one and picked on camera so yeah I think it's the first uh, lock that I the first video I, I was unable to find any other video but uh, yeah let me try to shortly uh, if it's possible for me to disassemble the newer version okay. I cannot come yes so I will try my best not to mix them so let me put this here this here it's very similar this part and I will try only to to grab come on I don't know why this is plastic and see-through here's the same bar here's the similar restricting or uh, tensioning plate here's that restriction plate spacer is the same but I need to show you what I mean difference in the old and the new version can you spot how many false gates and how deep are they so there are a lot more and this is the easier one maybe with two false gates and others they have more than two and it's at least I was unable and it's a bit restrictive I tried to pick this one too uh, but uh, this this inside uh, moving bars for rotating the lock and resetting the lock it's more restrictive than this one uh, these two uh, rods so it's a bit tricky to put 
to to move the peak from the peak wire so you can see they're very like the same but with more false gates so and they're more shiny of course this is a brand new one and here's the key it's the same key i mean same model same everything the only difference is the is it's more in the newer one there are more false gates so guys yes a bit longer video but i think it's worth it so yeah this is the rosengren rosengrens rosengrens i don't know how it's pronounced uh 32c81p uh disc lock safe slash safe deposit box lock pick and got it so guys thanks for watching have a nice day have a nice speaking bye bye